Hi guys. Some of you were asking me in the comments sections uh, below my videos on digital to analog converters and headphone amplifiers that could be used uh, with uh, replaceable operational amplifiers if I'm familiar with the Staccato brand. Uh, I wasn't at that time, uh, but since the questions were repeating and popping here and there um, under different videos, I've done some research and to my surprise, I've learned that Staccato is based uh, just five hours drive from me, uh, which is quite close. So I reached to Mr. Jakub Honkisch, uh, the owner of the company and brain behind Staccato op pumps, uh, in order to uh, get uh, some Staccatos uh, for testing purposes. Uh, I've also asked about the production and uh, the, the order waiting time because uh, these are not uh, of the shelf ready-made product. Uh, these are always being made to your specific order. And uh, to my surprise, I've learned that uh, each one of them is handmade. These are not made uh, on, the, on any kind of automated production line uh, because of the properties of the silicon dice inside of um, transistors. So basically each one of them is handmade and uh, moreover the transistors used uh, here uh, were hand chosen and paired uh, from the batch of uh, 2000, uh, sorry, 1000 pieces uh, Toshiba transistors that were ordered as a factory matched set. So the first level of matching uh, was done uh, in the factory by Toshiba and then they were handpicked and measured to be paired even further and uh, what's more I was also interested uh, about the heatsink heat sinks because uh, this is the first uh, operational amplifier discrete operational amplifier uh, that I have uh, that's using uh, heat sinks and the thing is that uh, they don't uh, only uh, remove the heat uh, from the device but they also uh, serve um, as uh, uh, thermal coupling devices. Uh, so basically this would be the third level of pairing because the same thermal point for the transistors will assure the same working point uh, on the characteristics. Um, okay, as you can see these head sinks are quite large. Uh, since uh, these uh, amplifiers our full, our full discrete single ended class A, uh, they do get warm, by the way. So you don't want to touch them with your bare hands because this will hurt. Uh, their normal working temperature, and that was confirmed with my measurements, is like 60 degrees, and uh, they're confirmed to be working properly until the 110 degrees uh, centigrade. Uh, I hope you'll never see that temperature, uh, but 60 degrees centigrade is a uh, completely normal, regular temperature that you'll have when you'll be using uh, one of these. Uh, I've tried them by your recommendation in all the places I could test them, that is uh, current and voltage uh, conversion stage um, and uh, low pass filtering in my digital to analog converters, uh, but also I've tested them in my headphone amplifiers uh, when they were working uh, with uh, D-Class uh, amplifiers uh, in the E600 uh, Breeze headphone amplifier when the uh, main amplifying stage uh, is consisting of uh, TPA6120 uh, uh, D-Class uh, integrated uh, amplifiers but also I've used them uh, in my um, BTL uh, TPA 3255 uh, and other uh, TPA 3255 based uh, speaker amplifiers because they are working wonders uh, in D-Class devices. Okay, so that's for the introduction. Now let's move to the specs and the dimensions. These are Staccatos model OSH-DHB which stands for open sound uh, dual hybrid horizontal and the sizes uh, are 30 millimeters uh, by 20 millimeters by 35 millimeters let me show you that in a moment 
Okay, so let's see the measurements. Here we have 20 millimeters. Here, before the most further points, these transistor pairs, pairs will have 29 millimeters, which basically is 30 millimeters. The whole size here is 33.3, which is 35 basically, but the size from the deep socket to the top end would be also like 30 millimeters. Uh, and I've also learned recently that there may be two more distances uh, that are important for you. Uh, the first one is this one, this one be between the deep socket and the lower part of the uh, op amp, and that's 7.6 millimeters. And the other one would be between the, the edge of operational amplifier and this point. And here we have 4.1 uh, millimeters. I learned that uh, because I couldn't fit them properly uh, in my uh, BTL uh, 5255. Uh, D-class uh, monoamplifiers uh, until I've used uh, another uh, deep socket uh, as a standoff device to make them a little bit higher. Uh, okay, so that was about the size. I've already covered the temperature. The 60 degrees is uh, completely normal. Uh, these are fully discrete single-ended class A and they are using deep 8 sockets uh, and since these are dual operational amplifiers, they can be used with everything that's uh, pin compatible with uh, traditional and uh, very old NE5532 operational amplifiers, as long as the size permits placing them inside of the device. Um, one of the speaker amplifiers that uh, I could not use these without the uh, cable extensions was uh, IEMA A70 because there was just not enough room between the PCB boards to fit them. Uh, so do uh, check the size uh, of the uh, clearing in your amplifiers or in your digital to analog converters. Uh, okay, so having covered that, let's move to the most important part of the review, which basically is answering the questions, how do they sound? Uh, with my usual scheme, uh, starting from base. Uh, we have a very precise and organic, underlining organic base here that goes very low uh, and doesn't bleed into the mids. The uh, mid base uh, is uh, completely natural uh, and there's just enough of it. Uh, it's not too much, so it doesn't bleed and it doesn't cover the mids, uh, and uh, it's not too thin. It's just right. So that was something uh, very nice to hear, uh, because sometimes I'm a bassad myself, not always, but sometimes. I love clean and precise bass. Uh, moving on to the mids, uh, very natural voice timbre. These are full class A, single ended. So that's a trade for class A, that everything sounds very natural. Uh, voices, uh, pianos, uh, full-bodied instruments, uh, all the class uh, A goodies in spades here. Uh, the treble, the treble is very important because these have a very good treble extension, but the treble is very smooth and detailed. It's not harsh, there's no trace of any kind of sibilance. It's very relaxed and very nice, very inviting. So again, all the best traits of class A constructions. Uh, the detail, the detail. We have a very good detail in front and in the back of the scene. Uh, they don't prefer any of the planes over the other. You can focus your attention on the front or you can focus your attention, uh, attention on the back and you can dive in details in front or in the back. Um, what's important uh, to notice here is that uh, although they have a very a big amount of detail, they do not sound analytical. 
it's not like they are pushing this detail uh, in your ears, uh, making it hard for you to focus on the uh, music, on the pure pleasure of listening to music. Uh, you're just following the music, you're just following the flow. If you want to dive in and if you want to follow some of the detailed uh, guitar lines or something like that, you can do that. But this will not push uh, the detail into your ears, distracting your from you from music. Uh, the scene, the scene. Uh, we have a very good separation, and we have a very nice 3D positioning of the sounds and instruments. Uh, not only left to right, not only uh, in the depth, meaning that we can easily hear the planes in front or in the back, but also height information is present. Uh, with popular recorded tracks, you're able to hear if uh, one instrument or one singer is placed higher than the other one. So that's something very nice. Uh, and uh, the size of the instruments. Uh, they are positioned very well. Uh, there's quite a lot of air, but the instruments do not sound like uh, uh, thin uh, single point uh, sources. Uh, when I was listening to my tracks, my test tracks, uh, I, I, how do I say that? Uh, I was pretty amazed by the fact uh, that although the separation was very good, the size of the instruments were not pinpointed. I mean, uh, the instruments were full-bodied and full-sized uh, with the air between them. That's something very, very nice. Uh, the other things that I've noted uh, during my listening sessions, and they uh, do not fit uh, into uh, any of previous categories, uh, are these loose thoughts. The first one, these sound very analog. And that means that they are great pairing uh, with uh, every D-class digital amplifier. I've tried them during uh, my listening sessions uh, in the uh, BTL TPA uh, 50 to 55 uh, monoblock uh, amps, or actually dual mono. No, not exactly dual mono because there's only one power supply, which you can uh, you can buy another. Uh, so basically, uh, I've used them during my listening sessions in the uh, review and test of the incoming uh, video for TPA. 5255 uh, D-class amplifier, which is amazing, by the way, and these were a perfect match to this amplifier. They've uh, covered, they've softened all of edges, uh, so this is uh, my highest recommendation for D-class amplification. Uh, okay, uh, the price, the price. I haven't told you the price. You can get them uh, from Staccato uh, eBay shop. Uh, the price is uh, $89 uh, for the uh, operational amplifier for one piece. Uh, and there's a 25 USD uh, shipping fee. Shipping is done with uh, FedEx services. Uh, so, if you can, for, for example, if your digital to analog converter allows you to replace all four operational amplifiers. Why four? Because you have left and right channels, and then, then you have the first stage, which is uh, current to voltage uh, conversion, and then you have the second stage, which is low pass filtering. If you can afford, use them in all of the places, uh, because my tests say that uh, these do not prefer specifically uh, any of uh, these two stages. Uh, they work perfectly fine in both of them. Uh, if you cannot afford to get four of them, get a pair and place them at the uh, current to voltage conversion. Why? Because this way you'll preserve all of the detail that will be coming straight from your digital to analog converter chips. So, the summary. The summary. They are very, very good. They are very, very nice. But uh, before ordering them, you always need to check uh, the clearance in your device. You need to check uh, the clearance in your headphone amplifier, in your speaker amplifier, or in your digital to analog uh, converter. Uh, ah, yes, so one, one thing. 
uh, how do you find the pin number one? Uh, that's the first obvious clue. And uh, the other clue is, yes, we are able to focus. Can you see that inside, underneath the radiators? We have, uh, let's try to do this like that. May oh, yes. We have pin number one clearly, ma clearly marked there. And we have a cutout matching the socket also printed on the board. So it's quite easy to find the right placing. And uh, I think that's it. I very like the sound. Uh, sorry, that was like Yoda would be saying this uh, this sentence. Uh, I like the sound very much. I like the build quality. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, these are perfectly symmetric. Uh, I like the fact that I can use in my D-class amplifiers to make them less digital. Uh, yes, all in all, highly recommend that. Uh, if you would like to hear some more loose thoughts uh, on this, uh, watch my uh, D-class uh, amplifier. T uh, TPA 3255 BTL based uh, mono amplifier set. Uh, I know the name is off, uh, but I don't think that this particular amplifier has uh, any kind of uh, brand name, any kind of model name. Uh, so that's it. Highly recommend that. Ask me anything I could uh, forget uh, in the comments section. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a Buell, I, I more than welcome uh, uh, beer donations <laughs> because I'm a beer guy. Uh, and that's it. Stay tuned. And as I said, any questions, ask them in the comments. Uh, I try to answer every single comment that uh, it's there. Uh, I usually do that in the evenings and in the mornings. Uh, so if I'm not answering right away, just wait for a few hours. So, see you guys in another video, and I hope you'll have a great and wonderful day. Bye, guys.